Hey guys, today I'm going to review HFCL's stock, and uh, as you can see, the returns right now in one we uh, in one day the return was uh, today the return was 7.5 percent, and the week return was 4.4 percent. So the the main reason uh, the main reason is uh, that they just announced that they are expanding their portfolio, and now they are uh, making 5G products. So you know the 5G is the next of uh, 4G and 5G and 5G is like a uh, expanding and uh, they are also expanding their uh, to foreign markets also which is uh, right now the 5G demand is very high so that's why the stock is so high and right now the stock is at 56 rupees 56.45 and uh, right now the market hasn't closed that's why it's, uh, the numbers are changing so right now I'm just going to analyze the stock and uh, show you their uh, financials their uh, competitions their forecasting their holdings everything so yeah so let's uh, first look at uh, why uh, why 5g is so important because uh, right now most of the phone if you are uh, if you are looking uh, if you will look at amazon most of the phone right now are coming with 5g and you if you don't know right now 5g is not supported uh, and uh, yeah in other countries like us and uk uh, they are testing 5g and uh, the many of the people are able to use 5g so the portfolio of products so let, let's see what they make what they are making so they are making optical fiber cables and uh, telecom products and uh, defense products so as you can see they are making defense products so they are making uh, products for a uh, military and stuff optical fiber optical fiber is uh, uh, they are making cables for wi-fi if you if you have uh, wi-fi if you have atel wi-fi uh, they are using fiber cable these days and uh, yeah so the expanding right now this as you can see they are, this is their manufacturing facility and uh, this is their uh, the key customer as you can see the key customers are uh, geo tata these are like big players and uh, even their uh, portfolio is in china also as you can see there's uh, the customer is like globally based as you can see uh, after india their main customers are from uh, uh, south america and north america and uh, Europe, they're also touching Europe regions also and Australia. So right now let's look at their uh, financials. As you can see, the total revenue this year was an uh, FI 2021, 4,459 uh, 4, crores, as you can see. Um, their highest was last year their revenue was uh, 3800 which is uh, a they obviously their revenue has increased and uh, in 2019 their revenue was uh, the highest which is uh, 4780 crores let's uh, look at their net income uh, if you don't know what net income is this is after raw material of fuel cost employee cost everything and uh, their net income is uh, right now this year their net income is uh, increased is at all time high which is uh, 239 crores which is very good and uh, let's see their uh, cash flow so if you don't know what cash flow is a cash flow a cash flow statement is a, a report of company's cash management which summarizes all the cash inflow that company receives from its uh, operations and investments as well as uh, the cash outflow uh, the functioning of the business and stuff so let's look at their cash flow as you can see as you can see the net change in cash is uh, uh, minus 1 crore so they are spending a lot of money and uh, their free cash flow is uh, 0 0.56 crores which uh, is in minus as you can see the company uh, the company i think the cash flow will decrease because they are in expanding they need uh, a lot of money in capital and stuff so yeah the cash flow will be less in my opinion 
and uh, this is the balance sheet balance sheet is the outline of a company's assets liabilities and shareholder equity okay so right now the current asset as you can see is at all time high which is uh, 3000 crores and the total asset is at 3800 crores which is also the all time high and uh, yeah so now let's look at their competition or peers and uh, tejas network star starlet technologies iti and hfcl which is the brand itself so as you can see they are the, like the uh, their growth their stock growth none of their competitors are none of their competitors are tapping to 5g market which is unfortunate as you can see after the announcement the stock price went up let's look at uh, this is i'm using ticker tips pro version so yeah obviously the default probability will be low it's a good stock and it's a small cap stock so yeah let's uh, let's look at the year year return the 300 plus so the returns are pretty nice as you can see because of the lockdown people uh, started using more wifi and stuff obviously now uh, people are using uh, wi more wifi than ever as you can see their uh, year growth was 300 plus and uh, now let's look at their holdings so total promoter holding is 42% so their holding is pledged which means they have uh, pledged their uh, so they have which is not good actually pledged holding is insignificant so let's look at the see mutual uh, mutual fund people are also investing lot in this stock a 0.03 which is not a lot to be honest but still they are expanding last uh, in 2019 they were not investing in this company but right now they are, have started to invest which is 0.03% and uh, their foreign institution money is also it's a decreasing which is surprising but uh, i think after this announcement in 2 3 days they will also increase and uh, yeah let's see uh, promoter holding the owners let's see what owners are doing so as you can see uh, they are buying back shares from uh, the uh, the bank and stuff because they have pledged their stock so as you can see uh in 2019 they pledged 26% and right now they have recovered uh 23% of that which is very nice and uh, overall they are also increasing their company uh, company holding which is very nice let's look at uh, there was no insider bulk uh, so no insider deals were happening no one is selling one sell was there Okay, somebody uh, sold, which is uh, interesting. Okay, so th this is why, because they announced that they are tapping. This is why. This is the reason that their stock is so high. This is, and uh, uh, this is uh, right now. I'm using Google Finance, and uh, as you can see, uh, right now I'm comparing uh, three stock, which is uh, from uh, HFCL. they just networks and iti and they are all into telecom equipments so they all make a uh, telecom equipment stuff all or into towers and so as you can see right now uh, the stock price the uh, stock growth is highest in hfcl because none of them are right now <coughs> none of them right now are investing in uh, 5g as you can see um this is uh, their quarterly financial performance as you can see their revenue has increased significantly and uh, this is a sign of a see this, this is a growth company as you can see their growth their uh, revenue is increasing let's see re annual annually not so much i think in 2019 their uh, their finance their revenue was the highest right now their revenue is not so much but i think it will after a few days uh, they will show nice returns so let's look at uh, their stock this is uh, tradingview.com and uh, as you can see after the announcement 
people were buying and uh, as you can see the news was announced um, on 17 june and as you can see after 17 june people were starting to buy you can you can see let's look uh, one month after 17 june as you can see this is two three four five six seven eight so as you can see after see this shows that uh, a lot of people knew that uh, the stock uh, that they are going to announce and stock will obviously go up as you can see there's a lot of buying this time and uh, then obviously then uh, the then it was announced in uh, then uh, then uh, it was announced to the public then obviously which is interesting because uh, it took a lot of time a lot of buying and selling then the initial push started to show right now as you can see and so this is 16 june so a lot of people knew before the media outlets came to know and uh, people were not so interested in the stock before uh, on 17 june when the news was announced and then uh, a lot of selling was also happening don't know why but uh, right now the stock is very bearish and uh, a lot of people are buying the volume you can see so yeah this is the stock's highest it's all time high this is yeah the stock is at all time high and uh, which is very nice is, uh, as you can see so the it was publicly listed in 2012 and right now right now this is the stock what is happening now what do i think yeah the stock will will fall a little because uh, the price is a bit too much i think you should uh, set the price target at uh, um, 53 and uh, set a stop loss at 50 maybe and uh, you should set a target um, around 60 or something i think it can will go up i think it will go up for for maybe another two three days i will not advise you to hold this stock for uh, more than a year i guess yeah more, not more than a year because uh, because right now the p ratio is too high as you can see a lot of people have better on the stock and uh, i think there will be there, there will be a lot of selling after a few days so i think you should buy the stock then only and uh, before the ring you will see a lot of people will buy again which is uh, because uh, of the report and stuff so yeah this is it and uh, i hope you like the analyze stock analyze so yeah this is the stock analysis of uh, hfcl and uh, yeah